kids, it's Mrs. Jardins. I'm back for one of our curriculum read alouds. This one is called Jojo's Flying Sidekick. What's it look like she's doing? Karate? Yep, looks like it's me. So let me tell you a little bit about the story first. I have to put some lights on. Maybe there won't be a glare. There we go. Okay, so it says... Jojo's Flying Sidekick, original book by Brian Pinckney. So he's our author. Now it says Jojo is getting ready to take the test for her yellow belt in Taekwondo. Now my niece is a black belt in Taekwondo. She took that when she was younger. So it's a lot like karate. So how will Jojo be able to do a perfect flying sidekick and break a board in two? Hmm, sounds fascinating. She's so nervous and everyone has advice for Jojo. Granddaddy tells her to do a little shuffle. Her friend PJ tells her to yell deep and loud. And her mom suggests she picture herself doing the perfect flying sidekick. But how can she be brave when she's still afraid of the creepy tree outside her window? Gosh, there's an awful glare. Let's move this way. Okay. So before we read, let's go over some vocabulary that's in the book. Those are new and different words. Well, it's really hard to see. How about bandit? That's a bad word. It means someone who wears a mask and steals things. Jitters? Well, that's a nervous feeling. Lunge, it's kind of like to quickly move forward, like that. Taekwondo is a sport from Korea, that, and that's a country in Asia, that is similar to karate. How about promotion? Well, promotion means you're moving up to a higher level. Like a promotion in a job, meaning you're getting a better job. Well, promotion in Taekwondo means you're moving from one belt color to another. Because in Taekwondo, you have different belt levels and move all the way up to black belt, which is the highest. About technique, that is a way of doing something. About creepy, well, creepy, just what it sounds like, it means scary. How about applauded? Well, just this, it means they clapped. How about freaking out? Well, it means feeling very scared. How about butterflies in your stomach? Well, that doesn't mean you literally have butterflies in your stomach. What it means is it's just one of those phrases that means kind of a nervous feeling. Do you ever have a feeling like that maybe before school started? Maybe? Okay, so we learned about the story. Now let's read JoJo's Flying Sidekick. And I'll hold the pictures up so you can see. There we go. To do a flying sidekick, Master Kim explained, jump like you can fly. Push out hard and fast with the heel of your foot and yell, Kya! Then he shouted, one, two, ha, na, duel, as Jojo and the other students practiced their flying sidekicks at the Taekwondo Center. At the end of class, Master Kim spoke to Jojo. You have been a very good white been a very good white belt, Jojo. Now you're ready for the final test for your yellow belt promotion. To earn the yellow belt, you must break a board with a flying sidekick. He'll be tested tomorrow. Yes, sir, said Jojo. Then she began to worry. Granddaddy met Jojo after Taekwondo class to walk her home. Jojo was glad because she hated to walk past the tree in her front yard. It looked like a creepy bandit. How is my little lady today, Granddaddy asked. Master Kim says you're going for your yellow belt promotion tomorrow. You must be nervous. I'm freaking out, said Jojo. Well, said Granddaddy, when I was young and in my prime, butterflies fluttered in my stomach before every big boxing match. 
Granddaddy moved his feet back and forth and side to side. Back in the day, I kept my hands up, stayed light on my toes, and did a little shuffle step to chase the jitters away. Jojo copied Granddaddy's footwork and followed him around the driveway. I like the way you move, Granddaddy, but I don't see what dancing has to do with my promotion. You will, said Granddaddy. As Granddaddy and Jojo turned to go into the house, PJ and Ted came up the street. Hey, Jojo, PJ yelled, uh, Roof, barked Ted. I don't think you're strong enough to break a piece of wood tomorrow, PJ said and jumped into the swing. Why not, Jojo asked. Because you yell like a mouse in class. When I do my kick, I yell, Kya, at the top of my lungs. So what? Jojo took a step back from the tree. You'd get more power if the sound came from deep down in your stomach, PJ complained or explained. Then let your kya come up and out of your mouth. Ah, roof, 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 barked Ted. Hear that, hollered PJ? Even Ted does it. When PJ and Ted walked off, Jojo froze. She was alone with the creepy tree bandit. She turned to go up the driveway, but the creepy tree bandit lunged at her when she tried to pass. Jojo ducked and ran into the house as fast as she could. See, she's imagining it's turning into a person. Jojo slammed the door. Hi, honey, granddaddy says. You're getting teased or tested at the Taekwondo tomorrow, her mom said. I have to break a board with a flying sidekick, Jojo said. But what I forgot... But what if I forgot how to do it? Why don't you visualize your technique? Jojo's mom asked. That's what I do before a tennis match. Visualize, Jojo asked. Visualize. It's when you picture something in your mind, mom explains. Picture yourself doing the perfect flying sidekick. Jojo closed her eyes. But all she saw were dark shadows moving around in her head. You'll get a good night's sleep so you'll be ready for your big day tomorrow, Mom said. But Jojo couldn't get to sleep. She lay awake, worrying about her promotion for her yellow belt. To add to Jojo's troubles, the creepy bandit tree moved back and forth outside her window. It even tried to climb in. Jojo closed her eyes and hid under the covers. Why do you think Jojo is so nervous about her test? Well, I think she's afraid that she'll forget how to do the flying sidekick. But if she practices and practices, I think she'll remember. You know, why do you think the tree seems to change and grow a face when Jojo runs past? This must be how Jojo sees the tree when she looks at it, right? The tree wouldn't have a face. Let's move on. The next day in class, Master Kim called out, Attention! Then he nodded to Jojo. Begin! At the sound of Master Kim's voice, Butterfly fluttered in Jojo's stomach. Jojo shuffled her feet back and forth and side to side, the way Granddaddy had shown her. But when she looked up at the piece of wood, she froze. In that moment, Jojo knew exactly what to do. With all her might, Jojo leaped into the air. She focused on the piece of wood and visualized dark shadows in the creepy bandit tree. From deep in her stomach, Jojo screamed, Kia! And with her perfect flying sidekick, the board split with a crack. When Jojo landed, everyone applauded. Master Kim shook her hand. Congratulations, Jojo, he said, and he presented her with a bright new yellow belt. That night, when they got home, Granddaddy said, I thought you didn't care for that swing, little lady. Jojo just smiled. She threw her head or threw back her head and kicked up to the sky. And she conquered her fear of that tree too, huh? 
Now, one thing I noticed that everyone seemed to tell JoJo something different, like a different idea to keep her from feeling nervous. Which one, which advice did she take? Or whose did you think she would take? And also, how do you think it helps her to be brave when JoJo leaps into the air and imagines kicking that bandit tree? Where do you think she got the idea to do that? Hmm. Think about some of the people that gave her some ideas there. And why is the kick called a flying sidekick? Well, you remember the cover of the book? See if you can figure out why. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. Mrs. Ariza will read that next time. Bye, guys.